1953. In the depths of the Guatemalan jungle, civilians discovered a massive head carved from stone that dated back to some of their early ancestors. The statue was the product of the ancient Olmec tribe, dating back to 400 BCE. But the head was not strange in its size or location, but rather what it seemed to be modeled after. Unlike the other imagery saved from the Olmec's reign, the head was crafted after a Caucasian male, a person the Olmecs were not believed to have had any contact with. The features of the face were wide, and the nose pointed and slender, contrasting strongly with the other facial statues found in the area by archaeologists. At the end of the 1980s, a doctor named Oscar Padilla traveled to the statue's site to conduct further research. However, upon his arrival, he discovered the head had become the victim of target practice for the rebel Guatemalan troops, disparaging much of his research. The popular Sudan dig site known as Al Ubaid has been a favorite of archaeologists for decades, but arguably their most disturbing and intriguing find has been that of the sculptures of lizard humanoids, now famously called the Lizard People. While not strange in and of itself that these archaeologists are finding relics that could very well be tied to the ancient practices of worshipping gods, the Lizard People relics are unnerving because of the irreverence in their crafting. The ancient gods that were worshipped in the area thousands of years ago were not mocked or celebrated with revealing poses that exposed any possible humanity. These statues depict the creatures breastfeeding human babies, and poses that are closed and vulnerable, rather than open and strong. The theories regarding the identities of the depictions have run wild, with some claiming that this is the best evidence of alien life. Humanoid lizards landed on Earth from the stars, and walked among us as overlords, until the other gods chased them away. Still, if they were supposed to be deities, it's strange this is the only record we have of them. While paintings have always been rife with odd imagery due to the political stances of many artists, no one can quite figure out what artist Ventura Sarimbeni was trying to say in his work, The Disputa of the Eucharist. While most of the altar painting is what religious individuals contend as normal, a section of it featuring Jesus Christ, a dove, and what is assumed to be God, displays the three playing with what looks like a satellite or spaceship. The painting created in the 16th century seems to be a possible look into the future, and also bears an odd resemblance to Russian satellites. Conspiracists have pointed at the image as proof aliens visited Earth in the 16th century, and artists began conflating their instruments with our own religious stories. Some historians claim the sphere is actually symbolic of the universe, but others claim that it does not fit with the other universe paintings of the time. The painting remains in dispute to this day. Another artifact of confounding mystery, the Pirilles map was created by an Ottoman admiral in 1513 that accurately mapped out South America, North America, and Antarctica in relation to Africa. The shocking part? Many of those places had not yet been discovered and mapped out at that point, including Antarctica, and Reis had no way of knowing the correct distance from South America to Africa. At the time of the publishing, many assumed that South America was a continent directly across or slightly above Africa despite the fact that so few had even managed to travel there. While Race apparently used a lost map of Christopher Columbus for his reference to North America, historians are still stunned by his seemingly unknowable knowledge in regards to the rest of the world. But perhaps the oddest and most mysterious known artifact of the modern day is that of the Betts Mystery Sphere. In 1974, a small family known as the Betts surveyed the ashes of a wildfire that destroyed over 80 acres of land nearby. Amongst the splintered wood was a small steel sphere, approximately 20 centimeters in diameter. Thinking it out of place and worthy of being a souvenir, the family took it home with little thought. After bringing it back to their residence, they began experiencing a number of strange phenomena. On. When music was played, the sphere would emit an odd resonating sound that seemed to come from an organ. The ball began to roll around and move on its own, and could be placed on any high surface and stop itself from rolling off once it neared the edge. The findings made the bets famous, and soon the military and a number of scientists were knocking on their door, asking to examine their new toy. The bets refused. Days later, the doors of the bets' house began to violently open and slam shut. More resonating noises began to emit from the sphere 
fear, to the point where they alienated the dog from entering the home. The rolling became more aggressive, and the sphere would shatter nearby objects. Now terrified of their new possession, the Bets allowed the military to examine the sphere. They concluded that it was a hollow steel sphere of no importance, and could not explain the strange happenings. To this day, a number of theories surround the Bets mystery sphere, ranging from ideas it belonged to extraterrestrials, and was attempting to make contact with them once again, to being the product of an art installation that was lost in a brush fire. Some even theorize the sphere has no relevance at all, and it is the bets that are haunted by a demonic spirit. Whatever the case, it is a phenomenon that has caught the eye of scientists all around the world, and it could very well never be solved.